That is the music of Chapel Hard, sisters Danica Hart and uh, Devin Hart, cousin Tree Swindle, are bringing their show to their hometown of Poplarville. Hi, Poplarville. How are you doing today? The Home is Where the Heart Is concert happening January 8th in the beautiful Brownstone Center for Arts on the PRC campus. And joining us now, there they are, live on the 4 o'clock show, Chapel Hart. Hi, ladies. Looking good. Poplarville <laughs> City Hall. That's kind of cool, isn't it? Yes! How amazing is that? You know, I have to be honest with you. I wasn't really familiar with Chapel Heart. I pulled up your music videos today. And Danica, all I have to say is, wow. I mean, it's unbelievable music. <laughs> what exciting things are happening with the band right now? So many exciting things are happening from being named CMT's Next Women of Country to being able to just share our music with more and more people and then finally bringing it back home to River County. Yes. It's been incredible. And uh, Danica, y'all got uh, recognized by CMT as uh, the Next Women of Country uh, uh, music really a kind of a, a rising star to keep an eye on how has that kind of changed life for you and kind of opened up some more opportunities um it has truly been a game changer for us and um and we tell people all the time at our live shows we say we remember being little girls watching cmt and thinking like oh if we could just be on cmt and i said to sam before people at the live show and say that we are CMT's next women of country truly is a sign that dreams come true. It's a lot of hard work, but um, it, I, we were saying today at the radio station that it feels like it's all kind of starting to come around It's starting to pay off now. And so um, people are kind of starting to know us or uh, like, you know, from being around and, you know, people are showing up to the shows. And so it's kind of starting to pay off now. We've had a lot of full circle moments. Yes. Yeah, that, well, I can just see the excitement in your face, and you put out your second album, The Girls Are Back in Town, back in July. That's your second studio album. And uh, uh, I'm trying to get who's straight here. Tree, I guess I'll go to here. Tree, I know you're going on the road to Nashville before you come back to this big show in Poplar. But what are your, what's your touring schedule like these days? Um, well, thankfully, it's starting to slow down now. We've been on the road nonstop since April. It started as a spring tour that turned to a summer tour and to like just a full year of touring. Yes. So, <laughs> All the way through after, a December tour. <laughs> so after we hit Nashville this um, um, during New Year's, we'll be back home and cranking it into high gear, getting ready for this big Popperville show. But usually our touring schedule is all over the place. When I say we hit just almost all of the states, we, yep, we'll we be, really do. We'll be closing out our tour singing for the Music City Bowl in, um, in Nashville, Tennessee. So that's a pretty big way to close out the year. and We're excited about that. Yeah, how exciting. That's what, the halftime show you're doing or is it a pregame? I think um, we're opening up the, I think we're going to open the festivities. Yeah. We're going to open with the national anthem. And um, our, our uh, kind of, our one of our favorite renditions of the national anthem that we do is kind of taking us pretty, pretty far as well. It's by far one of our favorites. And so uh, I guess, uh, I guess a lot of people enjoy it as well. <laughs> and Devin, what's it like to come home, come home to Poplarville? Because I know, I mean, everyone is so excited. I mean, you're there in Poplarville City Hall. They're putting you on the campus of Pearl River Community College for this big show on the 8th of January. Coming home feels like what right about now? Man, since we've been home, I mean, I don't know about, I don't know about everybody else, but like I have truly felt the love mm -hmm. since we've been back home. Tree and I, we were in the grocery store the other day. And people were like, oh, it's the girls, it's the girls. Yeah. And we're just like, y'all know us. But I mean, most people, it's people that, you know, we, we went to school with or teachers and stuff like that. But we've definitely felt the love since we've been back home kind of doing promotion and stuff like that. Right. And it, it really says a lot because like we, us and all of our amateurness, we were just like, we need to do a hometown show. But all we, we've had people to help sponsor us. Uh, we've had Heather Holiday Realty. We've had the Pearl River County Hospital. City Hall has people jumped in in a major way, and it was you know, and it's kind of it's kind of skin of our teeth. But they were so um, they were so willing to help out the Pearl River Community College and the Brownstone uh, Center of the Arts. People have been so kind, and it really kind of I feel like being home makes 
everything about us being on the road makes sense. All just righty. walking up to people and stuff. And, but being home and everybody's like, it's y'all. Like, so the hugs and everything. The lady, I told a lady today, I said, this is, I said, this must be what people feel like when we're on the road. We're just passing out hugs and being all Well, loud. it sounds like a fantastic <laughs> story. Uh, January 8th, home is where the heart is. Uh, Chapel Heart, up and coming band, a rising stars, really, I would say. Thanks so much.